Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Module 5 Part 1 Our topic is Apply Safety Measures in Farm Operations. Wear outfit according to farm requirements. What is PPE in farming? Personal protective equipment, more commonly referred to as PPE, is required for many farm tasks. It is important to purchase quality products that meet safety standards and are appropriate for your work. PPE can reduce the number and severity of farm work related injuries and illnesses. Here are some personal protective equipment and its function. First is the hard hat or hat protection from head injuries. It can protect workers from head impact, penetration injuries, and electrical injuries such as those caused by falling or flying objects, fixed objects, or contact with electrical conductors. Shall be worn by farmer whenever working in farm against ultraviolet rays of the sun. Next is the farm boots and long pants. Protection from leg and foot injury. It can help prevent injuries by protecting workers from hazards such as falling or rolling objects, sharp objects, wet and slippery surfaces, molten metals, hot surfaces, and electrical hazards while working in the farm shop. It shall be worn to protect the legs from itchy worms and snake bites and mosquito bites when working in the farm. Goggles and sunglasses. Protection from eyes and face injury. Protect workers from the hazards of flying fragment, large chips, hot spark optical radiation, splashes from molten metals, as well as objects, particles, sand, mist, dust, and glare. It should be worn during harvesting and other post-harvest jobs to protect the eye. Earplugs and earmuffs. Protection from hearing injury. It can help prevent damage to hearing. Exposure to high noise level can cause irreversible hearing loss or impairment as well as physical and psychological stress. Leather gloves, protection from hand injury. It can protect worker exposed to harmful severe cuts or laceration and extreme temperature while operating some machines. Rubber gloves, it can help prevent workers from harmful substances causing skin absorption, chemical burns, thermal burns, while handling chemicals. Respirators for respiratory protection. Workers must use appropriate respirators to protect against adverse health effects caused by breathing air contaminated with harmful dust, fogs, fumes, mist, gases, smokes, spray, or vapors. According to Occupational Safety and Health Regulations, employees must use the protective clothing or equipment in a manner in which he or she has been properly instructed to use it. Must not misuse or damage the clothing or equipment and notify the person providing the clothing or equipment of the damage, malfunction, or need to clean or sterilize the personal protective equipment. Observe strictly the effectivity, shelf life, and expiration of materials. Definition of terms, shelf life. It is the length of time that a commodity may be stored without becoming unfit for use. Expiration date. An expiration date is a date after which a consumable product should not be used because it may be spoiled, damaged, or ineffective. The expiration date also refers to the date that the product expires. Viability testing seed is the measure of how many seeds or how much plant material in a lot are alive and could develop into plants that will reproduce under appropriate field conditions. Seed Shelf Life Seed viability or shelf life is an important concept. If you save seed from last season or if you've been 
given seed that are not sure how long it's been around, you might want to perform seed viability test a couple of weeks before you plan to sow. Seed Viability Test To test your seed for viability, first, place two paper towels on top of each other and moisten them with warm water. Next, place 10 to 20 seeds in the middle of the towels. Then, fold the towels over from four corners to the center. And place the towels in a glass with about 1 inch of water in the bottom enough to keep the towel moist without submerging the seed. Then cover the glass with a clear plastic bag and set it in a warm place. After the average number of days to germination, unwrap the towel and count the number of seeds that had been germinated. If none have sprouted, rewrap the towel and place it in the glass and wait for several more days. If seeds have sprouted, count the number of sprouts and divide by the total number of the seeds on the towel. This will give you a good estimate of germination rate for the batch of seeds. Here are the following shelf life of seeds. The lifespan of seed is tricky to answer because it depends on several factors. These are few to consider. Number one, how the seeds had been stored. Exposure to heat, light, and humidity will decrease the lifespan of seeds. Second, the type of seed and plant variety. Third, how old the seeds are. And fourth, the quality of the original seed. Fertilizer. Fertilizer is available in dry or liquid form and with or without added herbicides and pesticides. The makeup of a fertilizer determines whether or not its effectiveness dwindles over time. Number 1. Pure Dry Fertilizer It is made of natural materials such as compost and manure which are left to dry then used in gardens or fields. A dry fertilizer is essentially just nutrients for soil. These types of fertilizers have an indefinite shelf life, meaning they do not expire. Liquid fertilizer. The shelf life of a liquid fertilizer depends on whether the solution is made from organic matter or materials. Fertilizers made from minerals do not expire but may settle in the bottle shake before using. If unsure, consult the manufacturer's website for specific information. Fertilizer is made up of a variety of natural minerals and elements that do not break down over time, allowing you to store your unused fertilizer from year to year. Hence, there is no expiration date of chemical fertilizer. Best Practices to Extend Fertilizer Shelf Life Though there are several different ways to store and protect fertilizer, there are three key steps every facility can take to get the best results. 1. Store fertilizers indoor. 2. Store fertilizer in a low humidity environment. And 3. Use a protective coating. Chemical. Chemical instability is only one of many factors involved in defining expiration date and shelf life. Proper storage plays large part in pesticides, herbicide, fungicide, insecticide, disinfectant, and products used to control rodents. Longevity. Garden products should be stored in a dry location, free from cold or heat. All pesticides have a shelf life, which is the amount of time a product can be stored and still viable. With proper storage in a dry location, free from cold or hot extremes or exposure to direct sunlight, the product should keep well. Avoid storing liquids where temperatures drop below 40 degrees. The liquids may freeze, causing glass containers to break. Always store products in their original containers. You should always refer to the product label for some more storage recommendations. Four stages of handling chemicals safely. 1. Carefully read the ingredients list of any product or chemical use. 2. Purchase the personal protective equipment like gloves or goggles. 
Three, be aware of the hazardous materials you come in contact with. And four, follow safe procedures when you handle hazardous materials. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.